Hey everybody, welcome back to Totally Original <coughs> Motherfucking Let's Play. <coughs> so anyways, um, the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, 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 what we were going to talk about is the Super the Bowl. The Stupid Bowl. Mm-hmm. So, here's my thought. Okay. Now, 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 let's be clear. We're not talking about the Super Bowl. We're talking about the Super Bowl halftime show. Yeah. We can talk about the game if you I want. I could really care less about, <laughs> <it>. <laughs> um, about the game. Uh... So, uh, when this motherfucker tells me, I hear Maroon 5 is playing the Super Bowl. Maroon 5. All right, cool. Wait, who's this I, motherfucker? I like Maroon 5. Oh. I have two of their albums. Yeah. I enjoy them. Yeah. I I like a lot of their older stuff a lot better, but, um, like, uh, Kara's Flowers or whatever it's called. Um, sure. but, uh, but anyways, uh, uh, so... This motherfucker tells me, do you hear that they're going to do Sweet Victory from Spongebob? No, I, I said, did you hear that they teased it, dude? I didn't tell you they he were He said, do you hear do that it? they're going to fucking do this Sweet Victory <laughs> shit from Spongebob yeah. at the Super Bowl? Right. And I said, you're a dirty ass motherfucking liar. Yeah, your ass is dirty and you're a liar. Yeah. That's what yeah. he said to me. Fucking, uh, fucking, uh, uh. Tripping on my paper heart, I am dying anyways. <laughs> Take a look at <laughs> Apple Towers, never trust them dirty liars. Yeah. That's Zane. Oh. <laughs> um, and so, uh, the reason I didn't believe him is twofold. Because, number one, that's too cool for the Super Bowl. It's sponsored by Pepsi. I don't fucking care how cool Maroon 5 is. It's Pepsi that is a problem here. And second of all, okay. I don't think it's actually a SpongeBob song. Well, no. I think it's. I can't well, remember I what the know. name for the dude is. Like Glenn something. Glenn Sponge. <laughs> yeah. Bob. Um, but it it it. I think it is an actual song. You know what I'm Called saying? Called Sweet 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 Victory. It's actually just one. It's just the the sweet victory. That's just no, all it's, it's called. Yeah. No, it's not. No, the, the song itself, you look at the back of the album, it's not going to say sweet, sweet, sweet victory. Sure. <laughs> what the fuck ever. <laughs> um, but the... Uh, uh, so, here's a little history on the Super Bowl, the halftime show. Up until the 70s, do you know what they played? Was it not music? It was music. But do you know what... They played. A marching band. Yes. Because it's a football game. Okay. So they had a marching band. Um, And it was various marching bands. They have like different college bands and stuff, you know, play. Uh-huh. And then um, in the, in the 80s? I think it is. The 1980s? I think it was. I think it was the 80s. It might have been the 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 90s, honestly. Okay. But maybe it was the 80s. What about them? They started playing um, like popular musicians. What do I... Oh, Who's I didn't even see that. Uh, popular musiciones yeah. um, for the halftime show. As we are familiar today, right? Yes. Yes. Um, and all throughout the 90s, they had popular musicians. Pop musicians, if you'd like. Pop singers. Yeah. Until 2000. Maybe 2001. They started having shitty non-pop No, you musicians. know what happened? No, what happened? You sure you don't know what happened? Was we it? even talked about it on the show a little bit. It was wardrobe malfunction? JT. Jay Tizzle. JT and Janet Jackson. Yeah. And J JT, little JT here, thought it would be funny. Thought it'd be cute. I can't slow down time, unfortunately. Oh, fuck. Uh, thought it would be funny to uh, uh, pull off Janet Jackson's shirt and Me? expose her bare breasts. Sure. Bare breasts, uh, I believe. I don't believe it was well, just breasts. Just a breast, just singular breast. Yeah. Um, I, a move I think is, and will say until I die or until JT proves me wrong. Maybe, maybe JT, if you, you want to... think he did it on purpose. Yeah, I think he did it deliberately. Okay. Um, but I'm not knocking him for it. I'm just saying 
You're not knocking know. him for it, huh? Yeah, it just kind of, what the fuck, JT? You fucked it for everyone. Because they stopped playing pop music. Now oh, this, no more pop. Yeah, now this is actually a good thing for you and I because we're more interested. You don't listen to a whole lot of that pop. Yeah, we're more interested in the music that they started playing. This is when we had Aerosmith. Yeah. This is when we had, uh, I think Paul McCartney did it once. Um, this is when we had uh, 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 fucking... What about, uh, what? what about when Bruno and Beyonce were there? So here, listen, Oh, bitch. sorry, I'm getting ahead. Yeah. Um... They had tons of bands that were not pop stars. The reason for this is because they couldn't trust them. Couldn't trust those yeah. damn pop stars. Yeah, those pop stars were fucking it up for everyone. They're exposing breasts and shit. <laughs> yeah, on the reg. Yeah. Um, and so what they did was uh, uh, after they got more comfortable... With having pop star, or with having, uh, yeah, like, they, they basically, after all of the rock acts and stuff, they were like, all right, we'll do pop stars again. You know, it's not that big of a deal. We'll do it. We promise. Um, they, it, this was in 2011, I believe. They started having, so for that whole decade, it was just, like, not pop groups. And then they started having more pop groups. They had okay. things like Bruno Mars. Bruno. But here's the deal, right? This is why you can't take the halftime show seriously. What... Two acts played that year. That year the Bruno played? Yeah. Was it was Bruno Mars and someone else. It wasn't Queen Bee? No. Because there were two different years? Yeah. Yeah, you're right, it was. Mm-hmm. Who was with Bruno? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Let's play Who's That with Bruno? Who's with Bruno? Yeah. Well, I'll give you three answers and you can choose multiple choice. Was it A? Katy Perry. Oh. Was it B? Um. <laughs> well, it wasn't that one. What's C? <laughs> uh, uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Or was it C? Miley Cyrus. It wasn't any of those. It was. Was it RHCP? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, it was the Red Hot Motherfucking Chili Peppers. And you know how many songs they played? One. One. And yeah. you know how many songs were played that night? Four. A whole lot more than one. It was like six. <coughs> um, and you know that song that the Red Hot Chili Pe- Peppers played? Hmm. Yeah, they did it with Bruno Mars. Of so course. he was still involved, right? Yeah. And so you can understand how someone who was a maybe a fan of Red Hot Chili Peppers would be upset at that. Now, I like Red Hot Chili Peppers. I also like Bruno Mars. Yeah. Like, I don't listen to him regularly or anything. But I like the dude, and I like his music. Agreed. But so here's the thing, right? Um, How do you take that shit seriously? Well, you don't, man. Exactly. They call it the biggest musical event of the year. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you know the problem is that they even... um, th- So they had Katy... They did have Katy Perry, just not with Bruno Mars. Yeah, she did. She was the headliner. Um, and last year, you know what they had? Last year was... I believe last year was uh, was Lady Gaga. Yes, that was last year. Yeah, and you know what the NFL said? You know what the NFL claimed? What'd they claim? They claimed that there were like 170 million people that tuned in. <gasps> and that, guess what? What? According to the NFL, it was the most watched musical thing in the history of mankind. No. And you know what I say to them? What do you NFL, say? get your goddamn head out of your ass because have you ever heard a thing called Live Aid? Live Aid, baby. Where it's estimated that over a billion people watched it. Not concurrently, obviously. 90% but... of televisions were tuned in. Yeah. It's like, give me a fucking break, 90% dude. 90% of televisions in the world. Give me a brock Yeah. That's ridiculous. And so, to me... It's hard to even take the halftime show seriously. Yeah. And so when I'm I that it was this was the day after I'm not watching that shit live. This was the day after and I look up halftime show, which by the way, one of the like top searches was Super Bowl, what is this Super Bowl? 53 Super Four? Bowl 54 or whatever. Um, halftime show Maroon 5. And I'm like, just look up halftime show. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Like, do you need to be that specific? 
But anyways, <laughs> um, so I look up halftime show. I watch the halftime show. They start out with a song I like. And yeah. then it even goes into Adam Levine playing a guitar solo, which doesn't happen very often, people. And I'm like, this is great. Uh, I'm digging this. Yeah, right. All the way up until the SpongeBob part. Uh. And then I said, oh, <laughs> so those motherfuckers are actually going to play it, eh? That's pretty cool. And then... Did they play it, though? We get fucking... Travis T, whatever his name is. Yeah. The winner takes all. One more kill. Just a thrill to kill. <laughs> you know, I, I was trying to do sweet sweet victory lyrics as a rap. I was going <laughs> to say, is that what he actually did? I'm terrible uh. at it. No. but And then I said, hmm. Well, that sucks. Yeah. And then everyone else is, like, fucking furious. Everyone's, like, fucking freaking the hell out, yeah, you know? it was a big deal. And it's like, what are you guys... Are you, were you seriously expecting this to be that good? Come on, guys. You, you're you thinking too highly of the NFL. And Pepsi. It was sponsored by Pepsi. Come on, guys. You think Pepsi mm-hmm. wants them to fucking play Sweet Victory? I don't care if there's a petition. Let me ask you something. For those of you who are a little bit more in tune with gaming rather than pop culture, let me ask you something. You think Shaggy's going to be in Mortal Kombat 11? Absolutely, dude. He keeps teasing it. No, he doesn't. He He keeps keeps saying that it's not going to happen. He released that high-res image of Shaggy. Oh, whatever. Beating up on the scorpion. Whatever. Give me a break. It's not going to happen. Where'd that come from, huh? It's not going to fucking happen. (laughs) And so it's like, come on, guys. You're, You're getting your hopes up. Maybe be a little more grounded, you know? Okay, come on, man. This is, Rebellions are built on hope. I guess, but <laughs> whatever. Tell us down in the comments below what how you feel about this uh, halftime show. If it was really that offensive to you. The rest of it was shit, honestly. Oh, yeah. And they, they played uh, moves like Jagger, which is like my least favorite. Mine as well. Um, Maroon 5 song. But... If I had moves like Jagger, well, I'd be a creepy old man. Mm. Um... But, uh, and next time I totally original Let's Play, we'll hopefully finish this mission. Oh, boy. So, come on. Go on. I don't know where to go, dude. Click on the left to see the next video in this series once it's uploaded. Click on the right to see more videos like this. And make sure you subscribe so that you get notified when we upload new videos. And then, uh, click the search bar. Click the P. Click the O. Click the R. Click the N. And click search. And then click on my dick.